Cullen v. Pinholster explored the limits of district court evidentiary hearings on habeas petitions. Scott Pinholster and two accomplices broke into a drug dealer's house intending to rob it. When two of the dealer's friends unexpectedly arrived, Pinholster and the others stabbed them to death. The state tried Pinholster for first-degree murder. Pinholster rejected several appointed attorneys and represented himself for a while. At the end of the guilt phase of the trial, the jury convicted him. By this time, the state had appointed Harry Brainerd and Wilbur Detmar to defend Pinholster. Before the penalty phase, they moved to exclude any aggravating evidence on the ground that the prosecution failed to provide notice of the evidence to be introduced. Before they were appointed, the state had sent Pinholster a letter informing him that the prosecution planned to offer aggravating evidence during the penalty phase to get the death penalty. Citing this, the court denied the motion to exclude. The prosecution produced eight witnesses to testify about Pinholster's long history of violent behavior. The defense called only Pinholster's mother, who described Pinholster's troubled childhood as part of a sympathy mitigation defense. They didn't call a psychiatrist who diagnosed Pinholster with mental disorders. The jury voted for death. The California Supreme Court affirmed. Pinholster filed several state and federal habeas petitions, alleging ineffective assistance of counsel. The state Supreme Court denied the petitions as meritless. The federal district court held an evidentiary hearing with medical experts. The court granted habeas relief on the ground that Pinholster's attorneys were ineffective for failing to produce mitigating evidence about Pinholster's mental disorders. The Ninth Circuit affirmed, based both on the district court's new evidence and in the alternative, on the state court record alone. California petitioned the United States Supreme Court for cert, arguing that the court's review should have been limited to the record from the state court and that Pinholster shouldn't have been allowed to present new evidence to a different court. The United States Supreme Court granted cert. 